Hey, welcome to Neversick Farms Tomato House, and I'm talking about infrastructure for the hook and wicket system. Now, hook and wicket system, I explain in other videos, so you can go check it out. But the great thing about a hook and wicket system is you can have a very cheap infrastructure, very easy to set up for your trellising. I just use EMT tubing, which is incredibly cheap. Uh, you just need the tubing and couplers and they'll just go right on top of the trusses. And what I do is I like to do two per 40 inch bed. This way I have the two rows on each on their own EMT tubing. This way I can, uh, when I lower them, I can move them in a circle. Remember, I'm not leaning. This is a hook and wicket system. Uh, if you're lower and leaning, you can't, I don't think you can use this system. You have to use something like a wire or something a lot more expensive and heavy duty. But this is really, really simple. And I just throw these up on top. They're each 10 feet long. So on a hundred foot house, you only need uh, 10 for each line. You can also do a single line. And I did that for a few years. And then I just, uh, every other one, I go in an opposite direction. Or you can go in the same direction when you're lowering. Um, but I find the two is much easier. It gives more space for everything and I can work on either side of a bed. So either one works, but it's just a conduit you get at any big box store uh, or electrical uh, supply. You just put it up there. And once it's up there, there's nothing you need to do. One tip is those couplers, just make sure you really wrench them in. The last thing you want is them pulling apart and then having to climb up there to fix it. So wrench them in when you first put them in there. And, uh, and that's really it. That's the simplest, cheapest system I know of inside of a hoop house for using a hook and wicket system. All right, thanks for watching. Till next time.